What is up you guys, Tana Ashley here, and today I wanna to talk about three steps to repair your metabolism now. So first things first, we trash our metabolisms. We stress ourselves out, we push, we push, we push, and we expect our metabolism to just stay on top of that shit. We don't take a break, we don't take a rest, we don't reset, and that is a huge issue. So first things first, I'm gonna start with rest, sleep, manage that stress. That is a huge thing. So if you are someone that is high stress, your job's high stress, whatever it may be, make sure you take time to truly reset, rest, refuel. And some great ways to do that is through yoga, meditation, walks in nature, journaling, um, going to a therapist, going out with friends, anything to let loose and release some endorphins and feel good. Um, <clears throat> next stressor, exercise. So one thing is some people will not work out hard enough. Some people are just going for walks and that's their activity for the day, which is great. It's better than nothing. But if you are someone who has just been walking, switch it up. Go to something that's going to actually stress your body out in a different way and put yourself through interval training uh superset your your actual lifts and make sure that you actually increase your weight hi guys hi 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 um <clears throat> but if you are someone who has been doing hit training you're really pushing yourself in the gym then take your foot off the gas and start going a little bit more slow pace. So instead of doing interval cardio, I would recommend doing like walking or something just more steady. Um, instead of supersetting your exercises, just do like one exercise, get through all those reps and sets, and then go on to the next. So just switching it up with your workouts is another great way to repair your metabolism. And then last but not least, food. Does anyone on here like food? If you're like me, you love food. Last night, <clears throat> last night I did some damage to my metabolism. Uh, got a little high on accident because I haven't slept at all this week. I have to be completely honest. I have not slept. So I decided I'm going to eat half of an edible. So I eat half of an edible and I ended up coming downstairs and destroying the fucking kitchen at like 1030 at night. I was eating that ice cream. Chinese food and I'm just like it happens <laughs> um, so <clears throat> when it comes to uh, food you want to make sure that you have a nice healthy balance a lot of times I think people focus so much on like oh I just need to get my vegetables in blah 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 like that's the only thing that really matters on your weight loss journey and although it is really important to have that you do need to have that balance you need to make sure you're eating enough protein get your vegetables in have a little bit of fruit some healthy fats all that good stuff but you really want to focus your meals around protein and do not i repeat do not give up your cheat meals i know so many people on their fitness journey and they're like you know I'm just not going to do a cheat meal. And I'm like, no, you do need it. It actually helps keep your metabolism in check. So make sure that you are switching it up enough. Um, if you are someone who has been doing a lot of intermittent fasting and you're not seeing results with it, I would say give your body a week or two of a break. Stop doing intermittent fasting. If you are someone who hasn't done intermittent fasting, then I would recommend going into intermittent fasting. And when you break your fast, break it with a protein and a fat. Do not break it with a protein, fat, and carb. Because if you have a fat and a carb together, you're spiking your insulin, you're throwing fat in there, and it's more likely going to be stored as fat. So you don't want that to happen. Um, my alarm went off to make sure I posted my blog. <laughs> I set alarms for the day to like make sure I stay on track with my shit. Um, but make sure that you are switching it up and giving your body a break. So whatever you've been doing, switch it up. Uh, you know, make sure you have that nice, healthy balance with your foods and make every meal around your protein. You should be eating that much protein every meal. Like if you look at your fist, that should be how much protein you eat each meal. So whether that's chicken breast, if it's steak, fish, whatever you like, whatever floats your boat, honey, 
get that damn protein in. <laughs> and if you are completely stuck on this, your metabolism is shit, you're not feeling good, you're bloated, you're not losing weight, and you're sick and tired of it, then jump on a free Zoom call with me. All you have to do is head on over to the link in my bio, click book a free consultation, then you go ahead, pick your day, your time, fill out your application, and just be ready to Zoom with me. We'll be like this, and I will see you on the other side. We'll dive into your goals, see where you're at, where you're stuck, where you're struggling, and we will come up with a game plan so that way you get on track once and for all. The holidays are coming, you guys, and most people do gain 5 to 15 pounds during the holiday season. So make sure you don't become like the average American who's gaining weight and then bringing in the new year with extra weight because it's just going to get you further from your goal. I don't want that for you. I know you don't want it for yourself. So make sure you take action now. Don't just, oh, well, the weather's getting cold so I could hide under baggy jackets. Don't do that shit to yourself. You deserve more. You deserve to feel confident. You deserve to feel happy. You, feel, you deserve to feel healthy. So go fucking take action get that shit done oh i love you guys hi 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 wow my thing had froze so i wasn't seeing all the people that just joined hi guys oh and my lips i know my lips today are wild and out i'm like i woke up they're super swollen they're even more swollen this morning um the swelling could last anywhere from six to eight weeks which it's fine. I'm really happy with my results. Um, but I think because I ate so bad last night and I still have filler. Oh, Uncle B's here. My brother's here. I just saw his truck drive by. Um, but making sure that, oh, I was talking about my filler. Oh, I still have filler in my top lip. So if I eat too much sodium, <coughs> shit blows up. But I look like a little fucking fish. So cute. <laughs> But I love you all and I can't wait to jump on a Zoom call and dive deeper into your goals and get you on track so that way you can bring in the new year feeling sexy and confident. All right, I love you guys.